So so so. Salutations, YouTubers. Make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Like, go ahead, do it now. Subscribe and ring that bell so I can keep you posted and informed on all new upcoming videos. All right? Okay, today we are cleaning and cooking salt water eel. I already started um, cleaning on a small one. As you can see, um, some of the remains are left here on the table. But I want to save a larger eel for the filming. So you're going to need a sharp knife, preferably a um, fillet knife and a pair of pliers because eels do not have scales it have to be skinned and as you can see I am making a slit somewhere above the head of this eel just so I can get my pliers underneath the skin to begin to peel back the skin and it's a tedious journey people and there's no um, professional technique to this you just have to keep working at it and working at it until you get it done okay now I speeded up the process a little bit just to help to expedite time so that you can see how it's done and we're gonna season as well as batter and pan fry this eel okay and make a, make a mental note of this or you can write it down you take a large bowl and I want you to add two tablespoons of salt water and this is called a salt water bath and it draws the blood out of any wild game or out of any meat now you take that large bowl you got two tablespoons of salt and you add cold water and this is what we're gonna put the eel in to draw out the blood as well as some of the wildness you know but it's a salt water fish so it does still have salt you know a salt salty flavor and then after you get it cleaned um, skinned then you want to gut it and then you want to slice it into nice size chunks you can remove the fin on the top of it if you like some people just fry it hard enough so they can eat the fins as you can see here not only is it soaking and marinating but you can also clean it while it's in this salt water bath you know just move it around a little bit you know and you can continue to clean the innards <laughs> out of your eel or fish even chicken people and you want to have paper towels paper bag or newspaper to drain the liquid or water off of your meat and um in this case this is ill and you see how white that meat look this is some delicious meat i mean you know if you have never tried it don't knock it if you haven't tried it because this is some good eating right here people and you're gonna need some vegetable oil of your choice a pan you could pan fry it or deep fry it but today we are going okay today we're going with cattail white old-fashioned cornmeal grab you two grocery bags people 
and remember you got the salt bath with your eel in it okay we're gonna take two cups of that cornmeal put it inside those grocery bags find your measuring cup we're gonna use breadcrumbs to add to our flour or our cornmeal we use a planko plain Japanese style breadcrumbs people it's gonna make our um, eel nice and crispy okay we're gonna use four tablespoons of these breadcrumbs added to our white cornmeal you can use western oil you can use granola oil or you can use vegetable oil you make sure you get that grease a hundred three hundred and twenty five degrees that's three hundred and twenty five degrees we will be cooking our eel at three hundred and twenty five degrees five minutes on each side you know you can deep fry it if you deep fry it you're gonna go for at least seven to eight minutes you pan fry it, you want to go from five no, to six minutes each it. side battering oil based season is at the top of the list but people you can always go classic and go with salt and pepper some people like to use garlic powder or onion powder along with their oil bay but you could also use garlic salt pepper and oil bay there's no wrong way to season your eel just make sure it's seasoned evenly on both sides put it inside your batter or your cornmeal or your flour submerge it completely batter it so that it will be completely covered and we are going into the grease people okay now if you're using gas gas may cook a little faster than electric stoves but either way people um, you flip it according to how it's browning but make sure that the grease is set at 325 degrees that is your ideal temperature now this is the first batch that's going in if you look over to your right you'll see that I have two pieces of fish that is spots gotta love the spots and the croakers I cook two pieces of spots for the family my mother and my father then we got the pan bread here the top left and we're filling the pan up with the eel you know if it's see a piece that's not completely covered people dip it back in that flour so you can get it covered okay this is the second batch going in people if you have never had eel before don't knock it okay this is some good eating I know people that love shark shark is pretty much clean and cook the same way it have to be skinned eel and shark does not have scales you have to skin it pretty much the same method that I use to clean the eel is how you will clean your shark you will cut that shark into steaks a little larger pieces just like I did this eel and you will fry it the same way people this is good eating people okay alright See the fish here that I have spots. You see how we are frying that. We're coming out with our first batch. Look how golden brown that this eel is. And it is tender. I tell you, this is some flaky white meat. Alright. Okay, so you continue to tune into this channel and you will see more cooking by Curtis.